Hello and welcome to this video on the phases of the moon. The moon has always been a fascinating subject, and understanding its phases is crucial for understanding its role in our lives. In this video, we will delve into the various phases of the moon and how they are formed. The moon orbits the Earth, and as it does so, it is constantly changing its appearance. These changes in appearance are known as the phases of the moon. There are eight main phases of the moon, each with its unique characteristics. Let's take a look at them. The first phase of the moon is the new moon. This is when the moon is between the earth and the sun, and its illuminated side is facing away from us. This means that from our perspective, the moon appears to be completely dark and invisible. The next phase is the waxing crescent. This occurs when a small portion of the moon's illuminated side becomes visible to us. The visible part of the moon will continue to increase in size as the days go by. The third phase of the moon is the first quarter. This occurs when half of the moon's illuminated side is visible to us. It is called the first quarter because it is one quarter of the way through the lunar cycle. The fourth phase of the moon is the waxing gibbous. This occurs when more than half of the moon's illuminated side is visible to us, but less than a full moon. The visible part of the moon will continue to increase in size until it reaches the full moon phase. The fifth phase of the moon is the full moon. This is when the moon is on the opposite side of the earth from the sun, and its illuminated side is facing towards us. This means that from our perspective, the moon appears to be completely illuminated and round. The sixth phase of the moon is the waning gibbous. This occurs after the full moon phase when more than half of the moon's illuminated side is visible to us, but less than a full moon. The visible part of the moon will continue to decrease in size until it reaches the third quarter phase. The seventh phase of the moon is the third quarter. It is called the third quarter because it is three quarters of the way through the lunar cycle. The final phase of the moon is the waning crescent. This occurs when a small portion of the moon's illuminated side is visible to us, and the visible part of the moon will continue to decrease in size until it reaches the new moon phase. And that's it. Those are the eight main phases of the moon. The phases of the moon play a crucial role in many cultures and beliefs, as well as in the study of astronomy. By understanding the phases of the moon, we can gain a better understanding of our own place in the universe. Thank you for watching this video on the phases of the moon. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new.